guys. <laughs> so, Logan's sick. And, um, I said yesterday that he had the 102.5. Um, well, that night, which was last night, um, it jumped up really high. So it went up to 104.7, which was really scary considering that, um, I guess 105 is the yeah. dangerous point of a fever. Um, and I know that a lot of people would say, well, that is dangerous, but um, like the temperature he was at was dangerous. Which, I know that's dangerous too, but like, not really as 105. Um, and every time he's sick, he, he has really high fevers, um, but it's never been this high. When I took him to the hospital or doctors, and it was like, I don't know, 103 point something uh, the last few times that he's had the high fevers, uh, they would tell us just to give him Tylenol and that it was okay, even though it was like lasting a few days. Um, so, uh, yeah, a fork. So, so this time, last night, we just cooled him down by putting him in the warm water and then uh, gave him some, what was it? Tylenol. Okay, well, uh, yeah, and it went down pretty good, um, within the time that we stayed awake, he went down to 102, I'm not sure if it went down anymore after that or not, because we did fall asleep, but by morning, he was back up to 103. Um, and he's, during the day, been at, like, 102, uh, when, like, without the medicine, I guess. But, um, we're gonna see what it does tonight. Hopefully it doesn't go over 105, because usually when he's sick, I don't know why, but, like, <laughs> one night it will be something, and then the next night it will be higher than the night before. And... The reason why it jumps up like that, um, we were told by one of the doctors that was really a good doctor and helpful. Um, he said the reason why is because, I don't know, there's some kind of... There's a chemical in the body that regulates temperature during the day, and it um, it goes down during the nighttime, so... It doesn't work as, as well. well or something. So your fever will go up a lot more at nighttime. Yeah. So, again, for any new parents... Um, we don't know what the chemical's name is, but uh, you can do some research on it. But if your baby does spike a fever in the middle of the night, it's it's normal. It's natural. Yeah. Um, again, we are not doctors, but this is what a doctor has told us. And all the doctors, every time oh, yeah. that we have rushed him in because we were so worried, they never seem worried. They never seem like it's an issue or anything, even after it lasting a week of fever. Um uh, so, I don't know, they say usually bring them in after 24 hours or 36 hours or stuff like that, or was it 38, whatever it is. 36. Um. Or 48, <laughs> something like that. Either a day and a half or two it's days. It's 30 something. Okay, then a day and a half. <laughs> or I thought I saw 30 something. 36 days. 36 hours. 36 hours. <laughs> 36 days. But don't wait that long. Yeah. Um, but... But every time that I do bring him in, even after that long, and it will be like a whole week that he's been having a fever, they don't seem worried. So, I don't know. They say as long as that they look normal and they're acting normal, they're fine. Which, for Logan, he doesn't, this time, hasn't been acting as well as he usually does with the sickness. This time, he's been crying a lot. and Pooping a lot. Not really. <laughs> but he's well, had he, tears run down his face. Yesterday he pooped more than normal, but today he, he, he's... He, well, he pooped a lot yesterday before really hitting that fever. Yeah, before the fever. 
Well, so he could have had. He something. felt warm during it, but oh. I don't know. I don't think it's his stom uh, stomach though, because oh. he has a runny nose, and his tears are constantly. He's constantly crying. He may have an ear infection. I'm not sure. We're hoping to bring him in or something. Figure that out if it continues this way. If not, if he starts to seem like he's getting better, or we're just trying to wait to see if it's a um, virus or if it's more than a virus because we don't want to bring them in for nothing because they don't do anything for viruses. They just send you home and wait it out. And they give you more Tylenol <laughs> or, or um, Advil. Yeah. Or ibu Advil. Ibuprofen, my bad. The thing that's really scary, though, is because uh, he has a tendency with seizures. And, I mean, he hasn't really had one, like, by himself in a little while. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long it's been since the last one. But I know that they were more frequent when he was younger. And they seemed to be spreading out more. But I know last time he had a fever of the 103 point something uh he had one and that was at night time so it's pretty scary um luckily he was with he was nursing at that time that he did have it because i was able to to know what happened um but uh yeah so it's scary and i'm afraid to um I'm afraid of him going to sleep and getting it up high again, that happening. Because uh, they're pretty scary. Um, so, yeah. Basically, um, what I want to say is that if your child's uh. sick, I don't think that you should just bring them out to get other other people or kids. Uh. Or, or, or even if you're sick. Um, to go get other people sick. It's not really fair to those other people who get sick easier. I don't know really how easily Logan gets sick, but it seems that every time that we hear somebody else coughing or whatever, he ends up getting sick. Um, it's been a while since his last sickness, since this one and before, but before that, he's, he had them like back to back and stuff like that. So he seems kind of yeah, right. a little happy right now or something. <laughs> right now he still has the fever of 102. Yeah. But as you can see, it's... He's kind of okay right now, but in this morning, like, he slept a lot. And even whenever I checked on him or... He slept about 60% of the whole He slept about 60% of the whole day. Yeah, which is unusual even when he was sick last time. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry that there's no vlog for the whole day but really like we said he slept most of the day there was nothing to vlog we just stayed around and stayed watched around. tv yeah we didn't really do anything for that's fun for y'all to see so this is gonna be the only video for today sorry but he does come first um so yeah that's about it can you say bye bye and we'll Good go boy. yeah Good boy. and we're gonna go night night <laughs> oh, stomach <laughs> all right guys um we will say goodnight for tonight we got to get him to bed uh we'll keep y'all updated tomorrow if uh his fever uh exceeds that large amount again or if it goes away we'll still keep you guys updated um but do keep uh watching our videos look forward to uh what videos we're going to be posting next because some of them they um they're going to show uh what we do after logan goes to bed um <laughs> we uh we 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 try to get a a little bit of our own life after he takes a nap so uh we'll, or goes to bed <laughs> or yeah goes to bed takes a nap whatever but uh, we will keep you all updated on that so uh it, it's just something fun to watch you know a little extra um but uh We'll see you guys in the next video. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button. And uh, just tell all your friends and family that you watch us and that we're, we're on YouTube. I'm going to get sick with guys. them coughing or spitting all over me. All right, guys. We'll see you all next time. Bye. All right.
Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.